Hi there, I'm Lily, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to work brioche stitch decreases. So I've just cast on and worked a little bit of brioche stitch here. I have an, another video detailing exactly how to work basic brioche stitch, so I'm not going to go over that here. I'll link that video in the description below. In this video I'm going to show you how to work both left and right leaning decreases which don't seem to have any standard abbreviations. There are various different terms used, so I've decided for my patterns going forward, I'm just going to use L deck for left decrease and R deck for right decrease. Hopefully the simplest way. But anyway, I shall show you how to work them. So I'm going to get to the point at which I want, wish to begin decreasing. So I'm just working my slip one yarn over BRK, and then I'm going to work another slip one yarn over so I always want to begin a left decrease with the BRK stitch and the paired yarn over here ready as my next two stitches. So this is kind of a variation on a slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over might be the most familiar movement. So I'm going to slip the brioche stitch together with its paired yarn over. The yarn overs are always work together with something. They, they don't exist on their own in brioche. So I'm going to slip those together and then I'm going to knit together the next purl stitch. Well, it's presenting as a purl stitch, it's not technically one, but for these purposes. The next stitch, the paired yarn over, and the following brioche stitch. So three loops on the needle. I'm going to knit those all together. Those knitted together. And then back to the familiar passing stitches over action. I'm going to take both the um, both the yarn over and that brioche stitch and pass them up and over. Oops, I only caught one loop there. Pass them both over and then this might be a little bit gappy so I'm just going to pull that to tighten and you can see here we have gone from two columns of brioche stitches down to one. You always work double decreases with brioche. It, it would completely mess up the pattern if you tried to just decrease one stitch in one go. So always two at once. So that is our left leaning decrease. Left leaning because the right stitch is crossing over the left and it wants to sort of traveling this way. So with brioche stitch, the decreases are always very prominent and they're quite often used as a design feature in themselves. So now I'm going to resume just working slip one yarn over BRK, Burke, Bark, as it's sometimes known. Uh, let's just work one more of those, slip one yarn over. And now I'm going to work a right leaning decrease, which has, is, Completely, it's a mirror of the left leaning decrease, but there's a, a few more steps involved. So the first step, I'm going to work together this brioche stitch, the it's paired yarn over, and the following purl stitch. So I'm going to work those together like a knit three together. Oh, I think I've split that there. Work those three stitches all together. So this looks a little bit messy at the moment. Then I'm going to pass that stitch from my right needle back to my left needle tip. Don't worry about it being loose, we'll sort that out after. And then these two stitches on the left, two loops, sorry, a brioche stitch and it's paired yarn over. I'm going to take those and pass them over on my left needle tip. So now we've created the reverse of the left degrees. We've created exactly the same thing. It's all a bit loose and gappy. Slip it back to the right needle tip and just give your yarn a tug to neaten it up. And then you can resume just working slip one yarn overs and BRK to the end of the row. And then I've been working this piece with selvedges, so I just have a pearl stitch at the end. I'll just do a couple more rows now so you can see what these decreases look like with a bit of distance on them and hopefully that makes things clearer. I've just worked a couple more rows, so hopefully you can see it taking shape now. We have a right leaning decrease here towards the left of the fabric and a left leaning decrease here. So you can see how it would be used to shape an armhole, a neckline, shoulders, anything like that. Hope that makes sense and thank you for watching this tutorial.